earlier in this same video Mr. Prosperity you, you claimed uh, something was a hollow victory with the face masks well to you that's simple you know what's simple to me looking at these uh, things you call complex such as uh, an economy anything based off of money and currency it's a fuck it, it's a psycho fuck fallacy just it really is. It's a psychological way of putting an impedance in someone else's path just so that you can say, I'm better than you. That's all it really is when you boil it down and distill an economy based off of money or currency or any sort of trade for value situation that's all it is when you distill it down to its absolute bare bones minimum it is nothing more than a psycho fuck shit show for someone else to say I'm better than you going back Be less. yeah there's your there's your truly minor victory <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, having to battle that hard over something so simple. Yeah, moving uh, right along. Easy to grasp than uh, face masks. How we're going to negotiate and navigate the coming Great Depression, which is arriving. So this is the economy. So the economy is a fairly, it's not just complicated, it's complex. No, the it's not. Is something that's complicated can be reduced and understood, but something that's complex. It's not complex. It's really simple. It's nothing more than a psycho fuck shit show way of saying I'm better than you. Because look at that barrier of money, money, or currency, or trade for value between you and I. Look at how much more value I have. It is a very simple thing. It is not complex in the fucking slightest. Complicated? Yeah. Because there's a confusopoly involved. Uh, interject whatever video from uh, Jim Sterling. He knows all about how the confusopoly works. Just go fucking ask him for yourself. The psycho fuck shit show economy or money or currency. It's just a psycho fuck shit show. It's very simple. One asshole wants to control another asshole. So he invents this idea that something has value. Well, I'll trade you this shiny seashell for those uh, things you've got there. Because look at how shiny it is. Right? Yeah. Gold. Same damn thing. Look at how shiny it is. Silver. Same fucking thing. Look at how shiny it is. You're all just a bunch of unevolved fuckface monkeys who can't grasp a simple fucking concept that you're all just circle jerking yourselves. Fuck off. It has it defies any sort of prediction. And so No, it's very God simple. A complex thing. Herds of people are complex uh, No, you're not. That, that do what they're going to do. So here's if somebody said Chris I'll give you all right uh, this is very complex and complicated, all that. But I'll give you one chart. If you can just, in one chart, tell me why you think we're going to have this really amazing, you know, bad time coming up economically. What would it be? It would be simply this one. This comes off of the Federal Reserve. This is uh, the Fred site. It's a wonderful site. It has lots of great data on it. And here... At least it's not Fred from YouTube a few years ago. That is... That is... That is just... I don't know what the fuck to say about that. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to simplify some things. Uh, debt, securities, and loans. Basically, that's money that no one has. Or, you know, they claim that it's money that they don't have that they're borrowing or fabricating into existence. You know what a debt is. It's money that you owe to someone or... Uh, some form of thing that you owe to someone else. Securities, loans, liabilities, it's all the same word. It's all it's all the fucking synonyms, okay? It's the goddamn synonym confusopoly part of the game. The more words we throw at it, the more they'll it'll confuse everybody. But debt, securities, loans, liability. 
Every last single fucking one of those words means the same damn thing. Shit you don't fucking have. Okay? It's that fucking simple. And you can fucking read the numbers and the reference table for those numbers on a fucking chart. Okay? Yeah, I'm not gonna fucking hold your hand. There's the dates. It says this date is the start date from the recording of this line that goes way the fuck up here. And there's the, the end date. Somewhere past 2010. But it's not marked at the end of the chart. Yeah, so there. You can read that fucking chart. It's real fucking simple. There's the 2008. Yeah, 2008, 2010. There's that fucking crash right there. Where the debt capped out. Where the, the shit they don't have said, Okay, it's time to go back down. Because all that goes up must come down. <sighs> the fallacy of gravity. It's that fucking simple. You, you've, you've got your bullshit system that's based off of... Let's base it off. We don't have this, so we're going to say we actually have this amount, but it's in the negative range. So, yeah, it, on here, this should be actual negative numbers instead of positive-looking numbers because all that does is confuse you, the person watching this, to thinking that, oh, yeah, that's a, that's not a negative number there, so we've got plenty! When, in reality, all you've got is a handful of your own fucking shit. Because you can shit in one hand and wish in the other and see which one gets full the fastest. This chart is extremely simple. In order to understand it clearly, repaint the blue line as a red line. Repaint all these black numbers as red numbers with a negative symbol in front of them. And flip the whole damn thing upside down. That's how you understand this chart succinctly. It is that fucking simple. And yeah, Mr. Prosperity, yeah, I know you're just a simple-minded fucking human. But seriously, I can understand this perfectly. Without fucking having a PhD... I can study in my own fucking time. I don't need a goddamn PhD. It's a waste of fucking time, effort, and energy. Only increasing the debt line. Yeah, because I don't want a fucking student loan. Fuck that shit. There. If I rambled on enough and showed you how fucking retarded you all are, and to be quite honest, you don't deserve me fixing your fucked up system and giving you an extra five years to work with. Why the fuck should I help you all out? You couldn't fucking listen previously. Especially you, Microsoft. Fifteen plus fucking years ago. I sent letters to your fucking ass. You deserve what's coming to you. You fucking do. As for everyone else, for fuck's sake, quit acting like you're fucking retarded. You don't have to have a goddamn doctorate's degree in any fucking thing. All you have to do is look at the fuck up and get as much information from as many different sources as possible, correlate the fucking data yourself, learn how to read a fucking chart, it's this fucking simple. Right fucking in front of you. Fucking idiots.